Uh, welcome, my friends. I hope you all have been doing well. I want to thank you for tuning in to the Badass Agile podcast, my unscripted series. I hope you enjoy these. I was recently caught in an online conversation about how inhumane it is to give teams a stretch goal. What? Well, I don't know if you're with me or against me, but here's what. I think we've been fooled into believing that this is what causes people to get more and more stressed. That we're constantly stretching them and pushing them to do more. In a way, I agree. I think we continually expect hardworking people to do more with less. It used to be if you gave your life to a company, it was nine to five, eight hours a day, every day, 40 hours a week. But then you were rewarded with a pension, maybe for yourself, maybe even for your spouse after you were gone, but you were looked after. Your medical was taken care of. Your dental was taken care of. Your vision was taken care of. All those things were taken care of. But now, we don't have those things anymore. You're pretty much on your own. And hey, is the 40-hour work week even realistic? Aren't we working more and more? Don't you hear about people working 60, 80 hours a week? So what's this business about stretch goals? Is it good? Is it bad? I think that this is not the reason people are getting more and more stressed. It's not because we're asking them to stretch, meaning give me more hours, give me more output. When I hear stretch goal, you know what I think of? I don't think about longer hours or added performance targets that we're going to audit you on. I think that's the narrow view. When I hear stretch goals, to me, it means getting people to find ways to get better, to test their limits. So maybe when a company gives you a stretch goal, it can be terrifying. It can be insensitive to how hard you work, what you've already contributed. But I think as a scrum master, as a coach, should you be shying away from stretch goals? Hell no. I think we should be trying to find ways to help people produce more with less effort, to be especially more effective. That means less waste, more impact. Don't we always say we want to make more impact? To bring more passion to their work. To take new things that we become capable of. New experiments. New talents we discover. And to make them habitual. So that we can go on autopilot and focus our minds and our energies on the stuff that matters. That is the new problems to solve. The innovations. The people challenges. The previously unsolvable. Sound good? Well, look, here's the deal. The truth is if you don't tear muscle, it does not grow. If you don't challenge your mind, it does not expand. And if you don't routinely push your limits, you will never get to see what you're truly made of and how far you can go. Now, look, when I say that you should push yourself, that you should stretch yourself, the distaste that you feel or that you hear, that you notice, that's not injustice. Let's be honest, it's fear. It's fear of what you could become. It's fear of unlocking your true potential. It's either fear of success or fear of failure, of putting your neck out there to see what you've got, what are you made of, what could be possible. So I think you owe it to yourself and to your teams to get out there and ask to be pushed. Ask it of yourself. Ask it of your team. Look, we already live soft, comfortable, easy lives. So stop asking for a pass on the hard stuff, on the hard challenges that ultimately, friends, define a life well lived. It's your ability and your willingness to stretch, to push yourself, to discover those edges that define your own greatness. And when they ask people at the end of their days, what are the things that they regret? It's definitely not refusing to take on more hours, but refusing to stare into the abyss, to face their fears, to face their limitations, and see what's on the other side of them, to take risks, to be bold, to advance, to do all that they were capable of. There's a difference. We're confusing the word 
and we shouldn't because I think we're cutting ourselves off and selling ourselves short. So there's an area for you to contemplate, but more importantly, guys, don't just contemplate, act, do something stretchy, be courageous and set yourself bigger, more ambitious goals. All right, guys, that fires me up. That's enough for today. As always, you can find us on Facebook in the Badass Agile Listener Lounge. Don't hesitate to check us out on LinkedIn. And hey, why not listen to this podcast in the new Shuffle app? Very cool way to interact with others, comment, interact with me, get social while you're getting your badass on. As always, you can find us on Twitter at Badass underscore Agile and on Instagram at Badass Agile. I look forward to next time. And until then, stay badass. Badass.